In this video, I'll show you how I made these fun keychains. I created the design in Canva, although you can use someone else's logo. Please use logos that you have the rights to. This is a fun little project for my friends with small businesses. They give me their logo and I make little keychains as promotional giveaways for their companies. And I'll show you the entire process start to finish on how I made these keychains with my Bamboo Labs 3D printer. Now let's get started. For this tutorial, you'll need some key rings. This is the kind of key rings I buy. I buy the one inch split key rings and I will link to this below. I just use regular PLA filament. I'm also using my Bamboo Labs P1S 3D printer. I will link to that below as well. Now to get started, what I did was I created a free account in Canva. I just created my logo in Canva. Here it is. It's, I'm going to make keychains for Atlanta Rogue Run groups. I just found some graphics. I don't have a paid account, so I'm just going to use some free graphics. This is going to be the logo I put on my keychains. Now I'm going to hit share and I'm going to download this logo as a ping file when I have, and I'm going to hit download. I can't use a ping file on Tinkercad. I'm going to do a ping to SVG converter. I will link down to this below, Convertio, and this is a free service here. I'm going to take the file I just finished downloading from Canva, and I'm going to drag and drop it here, and now I've got my ping file, and I'm going to hit convert. I'm going to convert it to an SVG file. I finished converting it to an SVG file. I'm going to hit download. There it is. I've got that. Now I'm going to go over to Tinkercad. Now this is a free account on Tinkercad. We'll link down to it below. I'm already logged in. I'm going to hit create and I'm going to hit 3D design. So this is a fresh new 3D design. I'm going to drag over a box to get started. I'm going to make the height of this box 1.6 millimeters. I'm going to make a square logo or square keychain 35 millimeters by 35 millimeters. I like to have kind of the edges rounded a bit. And then I'm going to hit the steps all the way to 20. And then I'm going to zoom in on that. So let's see how that looks. All right, that looks pretty good. Maybe I'll just change the radius to two just to get it to a nice round number. I'm going to name my file. Next, I need to import that SVG file I just created. I'm going to hit import, choose a file. I'm going to drag and drop that SVG file I just got. It's really huge, so I really don't need that big of a file. Let's make it, I'm going to make it scale it down to 10% here. I'm going to hit import. Okay, look at that. That's huge. I'm going to zoom out a bit and then I'm just going to make this a lot smaller. So I'm going to hit shift to keep the proportions the same. And I'm just going to get it down to what I think is going to look like the right size on my little keychain. Zoom back in here. All right, that's probably a better. And I'm also going to change the snap grid to 0.1 just so I can get it just a touch bigger. I'm going to select all and I'm going to hit my align tool. I want to get it in the center of my keychain. There it goes. It's in the center of my keychain. Now I can, of course, just slightly change this. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to look at the height of my box. It is 1.6 and then I want my logo to be slightly raised up. I'm going to change that to a two. And of course, this is your personal preference. You might want to experiment with this. You don't have to do it exactly the same way I'm doing it. And now I've got my logo and I have my base. Now the next thing I need for my keychain is I need a hole to put the keychain in. So I'm going to drag and drop a, a cylinder over and I'm going to make this uh, four millimeters by four millimeters. And I'm also going to make the height it doesn't really what matter what the height is, but just so that it's not just so tall. Zoom in here, and now I'm going to move. I'm just going to eyeball this to where I think it looks the best. So you don't want it too close to the edge because it's going to break off, and you don't want it too far in because it's going to be really hard to get your keychain. I'm just going to eyeball it about right here, and then I'm going to zoom out again. I'm going to take the base, and I'm going to take my cylinder, and I'm going to hit my align tool and make sure that the cylinder is all the way down. Okay, sometimes when you drag and drop a cylinder, it drags it on top of the item instead of through the item. Now I'm going to group everything together. And there you have it. Now we have the logo, we have the hole, we have the base, and I'm going to export as an STL. Now let's go over to our Bamboo Labs. 
and I am going to take that SDL file I just created. I'm going to drop it onto the plate and we're going to zoom in a bit. The default is what I have in slot one, which is the white PLA and I'm going to color it so you can see the logo a little bit better. So I'm going to choose the black here. I'm going to do height range coloring. Uh, that way I can minimize the number of filament changes that I have. It's just going to be a basic black and white keychain. I'm just coloring it in. I'm going to hit return here. Zoom back out. Here it is. Here is my keychain. Now I probably want to make more than one keychain. I'm going to take my keychain and I'm going to right click and I'm going to clone. I probably want to make about, you know, 10 of these. I'll hit nine. Okay. Let's see how that goes. There we go. I'll just make nine. How about that? All right. So that should print out. So now you kind of have a good idea of what it's going to look like. I'm going to hit slice plate and it should take about 57 minutes to do this. And I'm going to hit print plate and I'm going to hit send, send this to the printer and we'll see how this comes out. This is how to make promotional keychains and please do use logos that you have permission to use.